Alco fans, welcome to Alco Bloom Boutique. If you guys are new here, you guys don't know who I am. My name is Z, so welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be working on these cute little treat bags. Um, these are in the hoop project. So if you guys have not done like in the hoop project before, um, I'll walk you guys through this video. So what you need for this is fleece or minkies. You guys can get this at Joanne or Hobby Lobby. I think Joanne has uh, always have sale and you can get these for like $2.99 a yard. So this is just fleece. Um, this one doesn't have the dot like this one. So the minky has the dot. And then I will link um, the file down in the description box. So if you guys want to make the same thing for um, you know goodie bags for Christmas, you guys can get these. They're super fast and easy to make. So they have three sizes. I think they have this is the five by seven, and they have a six by ten and the eight by twelve. So the eight by twelve will only fit in this big mighty hoop. Um, if you have a flat bed, I think I think there's some flat bed that has like a seven by twelve um, large frame. So you guys can do like the largest size. So this is the largest size. I didn't I didn't do the six by ten because I didn't need that size. So I did um in this size. This is the biggest one, eight by twelve. So you guys can put like some small toy in there since it's um bigger than this. So you guys can see the size difference. So I chose the smallest one because I just need to put like candies in there or some little trinkets. So I just decided to go with the small size. And then you can add um, a kid's name on this. I chose a really small font and I should have went like a little bit bigger and then pull it up. So I changed that here. So I think here I look better because the font is a little bit bigger. So yeah, this is a really fast and simple project. So I cut this, pre-cut these fabric already. So for this small size, I cut it, um, measure at 6 by 10 inches so 6 by 10 it kind of you know minky the even when you cut it right at the you know at the mark that you intended to cut it, they kind of bounce back so it's off like a quarter inch but it's, it should be fine because it's gonna look like this when it's done and it has this little opening here and then you just make the French and then this is where you um, tie it like this. So I leave, the reason I did 10 inch long is because I want to leave a longer flap. So you can see the fringe. Oh my gosh, they are like really, really um, messy. I think this, the minky is really messy. I think I prefer this one, this fabric more because this one does not uh, it's not as messy like when I do this it doesn't shake off a bunch of these um, you know fabric um, these loose like fur because the the fleece here is probably better so if I have to do it then I would choose the fleece I think the fleece look much better than the minky I mean it still look nice it's just that it's this is too messy for me but since I already did it, I'm just gonna, you know, do it in the same fabric. And then I'll do the larger one and this big, um, and this fleece. So this bundle comes in four. I bought a f the four different um, image bundle. So it has the snowman, the reindeer, the Santa. And then I think the, f the fourth one is I cannot remember the fourth one. Oh, the gingerbread, yeah. So gingerbread. So you you have those four options if you chose the four package from Inboard Boutique. And I'll link it down there. And then you can choose to have a ribbon to tie it off. Or in my case, I didn't have ribbon. <laughs> like I, did, I didn't have this um, Genin print uh, ribbon. So I decided to just use my fabric and then I just searched the edge. So it's kind of like I make my own little um, tie from fabrics. Anyways, let's get started. So I use tear away only. 
because it's minky it's a it's a little bit it has a, a bunch of weight like it's pretty thick it's not a really light like cotton and plus the stitch out design is just um under like eight thousand stitch so you know um just one sheet of tear away should handle the density of the design because it's not that dense so let's get go i'm gonna hoop it and then i'm gonna go to the machine and i'll show you guys how it's done on the machine hi you guys so i'm at my machine now and since i'm using the 8 by 13 mighty hoop i got this tubular support system because the 8 by 13 mighty hoop it's a little bit like heavy so this is just a support so you know um it doesn't bounce like that because it's it's just really heavy so now I'm gonna be um, you know assigning my color to the design so I can get the correct color color thread and I will show you guys um, each of the steps when I put the hoop on and we start embroidering okay so the first step when I hit em embroidery I'm gonna hit this green button it's, it's gonna do the first placement stitch so this is gonna be the placement stitch then the placement stitch will tell you you know uh, where to cover the fabric where you're gonna lay your fabric to cover the area that you know it's gonna stitch So I just finish the placement stitch and then you're going to be facing this fabric facing up, the right side facing up. So I'm just going to cover all the area that make sure it's covered the placement stitch. And then the next step it's going to do a tack down stitch. Let's just hit um, embroidery again. So it's doing the tack down stitch. After this, we will need some water soluble because it's minky it has you know fur so if you use the water soluble um, it will help keep um, your s stitches on top of the you know the fabric instead of sinking in so technically people will pin it down but you know i i don't really pin it down just do this you don't pin it down it will shiv while it's embroidering so I'm gonna have to try to get a um, get one of my stick I think I, I see people um, use those plastic um, holder like something like this that's plastic that's meant for you know for you to hold it so you avoid puncturing your finger I mean I see a lot of people <laughs> posting puncturing finger on Angela's group or other embroidery group that I'm in so I'm trying to avoid that so it's not gonna be a pretty sight right <laughs> so let's start doing that let me check my bobbin because I haven't checked if I have enough bobbin um, I still have enough for the face Just gonna hit a border, and then I have to. I'm gonna hold over here because the needle's not gonna come this time, so I can use my finger to hold that. I 
That's how I can hold down. I think I'm gonna. I don't. I don't need to hold it down anymore. Oh, see, it start moving over here. So I'm just trying to hold this part. This is the front of the goodie bag, so that's why you have to put it uh, the right side facing you. So if you have the P800, um, you can only do one bag at a time, so I'm using the Mighty Hoop, uh, my now I'm using my mota needle. I can fit two of them. So for a single needle, you can only do one at a time. I'm almost out of bobbin, so I think my next one I have to change the bobbin. So after this step, um, I could have done the applique first because the no is the applique piece, but I, I didn't change it in umbrellas. If you want to do the nose first, you gotta change it in umbrellas, the order. So since I didn't do that, um, it embroidered the face first. The eye and the mouth first. So after this, it's gonna do the applique. And after the applique, then the name, and uh, that's about it. The last piece is just placing the other, you know, the other uh, piece of fabric over it. So I'll show you guys. This is just a really simple and easy project to do. So I just tear this out. And then you need um you can put hidden bond or not but I just decided to do it because I hate and bond everything. So since this is not even like a clothing piece, I don't think the healing bond is necessary. So it's gonna do the placement stitch. So for applique, it always do placement stitch first, and then tack down, and then the satin stitch. Place it over there. So now I'm just gonna pull the hoop toward me and I'm just going to trim this. Since it's not a shirt, I'm not gonna even press it before the satin stitch because this piece is really small, anyways. So it's not going to um, form any bubbles or ear pocket. That's it, you guys. And then I'm going to lay the wall soluble on it. And just embroider it.
So we're almost done. After this, I just do the name at the bottom. And then the last thing is just lay the other piece over it. Hey you guys, so it's all done. So I'm just going to pop it out of this. And I'll have to do just rip it out because it's a uh, tear away. So you can just rip it out easily. Once you do that, then get a scissor and trim the edges. So get all these tear away out. And then I do just trim off the corner here and the edge here. That's if the edge is a little has too much fat. Try to make it like a quarter inch. Let's trim a little bit there. And then this side. And then since the top's already um, lined up, I just put it on my mat here. And then I cut like about an inch. 
strip to make the fringe. So there's these two um, starting points. I'll cut like just to right to the starting point of this, you know, the seam over here. That's all you have to do. And I use this grid to try to make them as even as possible. That's it, you guys. And then you just turn it inside out. You can clean up the water soluble with uh, water and a damp cloth and then let it dry. And then this strip, it's one and a half by nine inch. And I just use this fabric strip and surge it so it doesn't fray. And then just make a knot. I just tie it one time because, you know, I, I don't need to make a bowl, so that's all I have to do. I mean, if you put things in there, um, it'll look nicer because now there's nothing in there, so the face is, that's all, you guys. That's it. A little treat bag. So thank you for watching, you guys. Take care and remember to hit the like and subscribe if you have not subscribed bye guys